Oh, yes, a hero. Honestly. I lost. Well, that sucks. I guess trying to work with someone else was a mistake after all. Ifumi's ineptitude was beyond all my calculations. I knew it. So you really did approach Hifumi with this plan? But how did you get him to agree? I can't imagine he would have happily agreed to commit murder. <laughs> I'm sure he relied on her speciality. Lying. <laughs> <clears throat> My speciality? Don't make me laugh. I didn't have to lie to get him to agree. So then? Then did you use... you know? <sighs> I knew you'd figure it out, Kyoko. You're absolutely right. To get Hifumi to act as my accomplice. Indeed. I used her. For everyone who's still left, I'll avoid mentioning it by name. But it was the one thing Hifumi and Taka were both super into. Alter ego. Does she mean? Is she talking about alter ego? Say what? 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 What, what are you talking about? Just a second. Don't interrupt. We're in the middle of a very important conversation here. <clears throat> I'm totally up the loop, as usual. How sad. In other words... Then you're the one who stole it? Indeed. That's right. I see. And you used it to drag Hifumi into the plan you'd come up with? <laughs> right again. Last night, after we had our meeting about how it disappeared, I paid Hifumi a little visit. Um... Oh, um, what are you doing here? Actually... I was hoping I could talk to you, alone. It's about what was stolen. I know who did it. What? Are you okay with this? It was Taka. He stole it. <laughs> so then... And I have proof. Would you like to see it? As it turned out, I found a use for the digital camera. I'd taken you know what to Taka's room earlier and took pictures of it there. I deleted the picture as soon as I showed it to Hifumi, of course. Damnation! So it was him. But how did he do it? She was supposed to yell if either of us got too close to her. <sighs> you are correct, which is why Taka forced me to steal it. Say what? As for me... Please forgive me. He... he threatened me. Oh, um... He, he did? As for me... He came to my room last night unannounced, and then, it's hard for me to even say, he abused me. What? Ugh. She's rotten. And he, he took pictures. He said if I did not do as he asked, he would show them to everyone. So I, I had no choice. Damnation! That's a crime. An absolute crime. He, I mean, I knew he'd gone a little crazy, but... Say what? I never imagined he would, would go that far. <laughs> it was amazing how completely he bought it. Hmm. I can't express how enjoyable that was. <laughs> I'm about to say something I've never said before in my life. Completely unforgivable! I'm going to kill him. I'm going to f fucking kill him. Most unfortunate. Wait, please. If you go now, you'll be playing right into his hands. Hmm? Actually... Taka is planning to use her to escape. And he has made you his target. What? Escape? You don't mean... <sighs> Taka is going to try to kill you. <laughs> Indeed. And also we can keep her to himself. <sighs> this is unforgivable! That bastard! Completely unforgivable! Bastard, 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 bastard! Honestly. Can we allow him to continue with his barbaric acts? <laughs> Absolutely not. How could I? She... she... I swear I will save her! <laughs> Actually... Then, would you like to join with me? It just so happens I've come up with a plan. <laughs> I have devised a way to reclaim what he has stolen and escape this dreadful school. <laughs> and with that, it is complete. Hmm? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> Hifumi agreed without a second thought. The effect that item had on him was remarkable. The power of love, even a love as twisted as that, can still drive people mad, it would seem. Uh, um... You disgust me. I see. I have another question for you. Was that strange costume Hifumi's creation? Indeed. Yeah, it was a real pain in the butt too. All I asked him to do was make something to hide the face and general body size. 
I had no idea he'd make something like that. But it's my fault for, for, for picking him in the first place. But... So, why'd you decide to make me the suspect? Hmm. <sighs> because you're stupid. Huh? That's it. Let's see. And in that regard, I made the right choice. I'm so glad your stupidity surpassed my every expectation. <laughs> Life must have been tough on your parents, though. <sighs> I feel like I could cry. Well. But when you were explaining your plan to Hifumi, how did you explain the part about him playing dead? <laughs> what she's asking is, what was Hifumi supposed to do after that, assuming you would actually let him live? Are you okay with this? That's simple. After he did his part and pretended to be dead, once someone showed up, I told him to say he'd been seriously wounded. He was on the verge of death, but he just barely held on. Hmm. And he really believed that? <laughs> but of course, that wasn't all there was to it. As I explained to Hifumi, the plan was... While you were all questioning him about what had happened to him, I was going to murder someone else. Oh, I thought it was Bayakuya at first. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad it was Celeste. I thought it might have been uh, Hina, the swimmer, somehow. I don't know. At that point, Hifumi would have, had, have, would have an alibi, so nobody could doubt him. I told him that and he believed me. <laughs> it all seems very straightforward, stereotypical. <laughs> pee pee? Noah, are you okay? What's wrong with your pee pee, Noah? I just matched the lie to the level of the opponent. In fact, Hifumi ate it up. He believed the lie wholeheartedly right up until the moment of his death. So in the end... <laughs> pee 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 punishment time! So you had planned to kill him all along? <laughs> but of course! There would have been no point to my plan if the one who pretended to be dead did not end up dead himself. What the heck?! How could a human life mean so little to you? Well... That's a non-issue. I simply did everything in my power to win. Don't be mean! Now you sound like Bayakuya. I wonder about that. No, he derives his pleasure from the thrill of the hunt. In that aspect, we are nothing alike. <laughs> Why? Execution! Yeah, you're right, Silent Wraith. That's a good observation. She was she was always making digs at um, Hero. She obviously saw him as an easy target. Then, what made you take things this far? What the heck? Was it really just for money? Hmm. Are you talking about the $10 million Monokuma offered us? That is a lot of money, it's true. <sighs> but that's not all there is to it. From the moment our new life here began, my only thought has been escape. But... All along you've been saying how we have to accept living here. You little bitch! Obviously that was a lie. <laughs> hey! I couldn't take it, I hated it from day one. More than anyone, anyone, anyone else in here. You little bitch! I wanted to get out. Every day was fresh torture. And do you want to know why, huh? This is fine. Because I had a dream. And accepting a life here would have meant nothing less than giving up on my dream forever. Honestly. And there was no way that I could ever do that. In the underground world of gambling, I risked my life to make a metaphorical killing. As for me... And it was all for that dream. And what was this dream of yours? Isn't it wonderful? To live in a European castle. A... C castle? Oh my god. <laughs> and to gather handsome men from all over the world to serve as my butlers slash bodyguards. I was going to make them dress up like vampires and satisfy my every need. Once I obtained that, I would have created a perfectly aesthetic world of decadence. This is fine. Living the rest of my life there was my only dream, my only goal. You've got to have goals, guys. It's very important to have goals. That's what life is all about. <sighs> Combined with my own winnings, Monokuma's $10 million would have made that dream a reality. I got right to the edge, but... There is nothing to be done. Unfortunately, my dream has been scattered to the wind. Still, I don't have any regrets. I pursued my dream to the very end, so why would I? Just the worst! You sound so passionate, but you were really able to kill your own friends for it? Oh! Are you asking me to feel guilty? That's a pointless endeavour. I think nothing of sacrificing others for my own ends. I feel nothing. Do you understand? That's all there is to me. That's what makes me... complete. <laughs> it's a very sad story. The fact that she was hiding that she hated it here all the time. And she was always like, oh, we, we, I love it here, we can live here forever. <laughs> Vampire Lords in Fantasy of Awesome Swords. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe that's what she wanted to do. Was it, could $10 million even get you that? I mean, put it this way, if she paid you, would you be her her vampire manservant? 
Isn't it terrifying how different our values are? There's simply no room for understanding. What is this? Th that's what we should be saying. And, and plus, how can you be so calm? Don't you realize you're about to die? Why aren't you scared? <laughs> huh, my ability to lie is unrivaled, and I take pride in that. Of course, she's the ultimate gambler, so she can bluff. I mean, yeah, alright, I know I'm like fucking a bit too late just getting that now. But she's the ultimate gambler slash uh, bluffer. You can't read her poker face. Oh, man. Oh, wait, are you still off score at the moment, Noah, because of your foot? It's not just other people. I can even fool my own emotions. The conscious deceives the unconscious. And that's why you're not scared. Yes, indeed. That's right. I don't fear death. Kill me however you like. <sighs> but you know, if I could be reincarnated, if I had a choice, then... Isn't it wonderful? I think I'd like to come back as Marie, uh, Marie Antoinette. Hey. Or Antoinette. Oh, right. Okay, I thought you meant you would be the vampire servant because you currently have no school. But you're saying you would be the vampire servant because then it means you'd have no school. That's how I, that's how I took it. You just get executed again. <laughs> <laughs> Celeste smiled then. And when she did, it looked to me like a poor effort to force it. She claimed she could fool her own feelings. But that statement itself must have been her final lie. And that weak, fake smile is what betrayed her. Thrills, chills, kills! You all done? Okay, let's get rolling. The black end disturbed the peace and must pay the price. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. For her, the ultimate gambler. It's gonna be Russian roulette, isn't it? Definitely. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment, punishment time! time! I guess I'll let Kyoko hold on to this. Yeah, finally. What? We got there, YouTube. This is... Will it really give you the hope you're looking for? I can't say I ever saw it that way. Which is why... Actually, it's not important. Well then, take care, everyone. Perhaps we'll meet again in another life. He is hoping not. <gasps> Gonna get burnt at the stake. Did Mary Antoinette get burnt at the stake? The burning of the Versailles witch. Oh, it's gonna be horrible. So she also got run over? <laughs> Good job, Fireman Monokuma. Oh, burning to death would be horrible. It seems like he'd done her a favour and crashed a big fire truck into her. Rip. Any subs in chat? Give, show me your Rios. Oh man, we get a Rio for Celeste. I can't believe it. So. She was burning, and then they smashed the fire truck into her. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Noah. Coming through with the Rios. Yeah, in your face, bitch. I didn't like her, Captain. I'm with you. Celeste was a horrible piece of work. Right, just quickly before we move on. Out of the three deaths we've seen, out of the three execution times, what do you think's worse? We had Leon, 
getting killed by having a thousand baseballs fired at him at like 90 miles per hour. Basically stoned to death with baseballs. Um, uh, Mondo died. He got strapped to a motorbike and got electrocuted in a big cage. Um, and then obviously Celeste got burnt at the stake and hit by a fire truck. What do you reckon is the worst way to go out of all of them? Oh, could you imagine Silent Rain? That would be even more psychotic if he did that. Could you imagine? Because she's so pale. And then imagine how horrible she looked with that burnt skin. <laughs> what about the victims? Oh, Chihiro got the worst murder for sure. Now that trial is done, you can finally go to sleep. Yeah, no worries, you, tu uh, you tubbin. Thank you for hanging out, dude. I really appreciate it, mate. Um, I'm going to be streaming this for a bit longer tonight, and I'll be back tomorrow as well. So if you want to see more uh, Danganronpa tomorrow, I'll be here, dude. But thank you for hanging out. It's over. The third execution is over. Celeste's death is over. Celeste killed my friends, so I can't pity her, but I also can't deny that at one point I considered her a friend too. Yeah, I'm with you, Tom. I think Leon had the worst death. Also, as well, it just so happens I read on Reddit today that if you were to be burnt alive, although it would be excruciating pain, um, if you were fully burnt alive, your nerve endings would be burnt within like a few seconds, and so you wouldn't actually feel anything. Are you? I read it on the internet. Well, apparently they so because they just burn all the nerve endings. So, you, like, and then you just die. Oh, Noah, I'm not even going to entertain it. No, well, you posted the picture of my schedule earlier. Did you not read it? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh. I don't know how long you've been dazed for. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, we stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. Give you your due. The Thursday has only been going on for about three weeks. So I fair play for not knowing that. But Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. That's 16 hours a week or 15 hours a week, technically. Four days. Alright? No, I, I mean, look, it doesn't matter. You don't remember, but you're always here, so it means a lot. So thank you. A huge third degree burn. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what degree burn I've ever suffered, but nowhere near third, I don't think. And for him to just come along and... <laughs> Isn't it just awful? No sub Sunday, what you follow a fun day? No, we don't really do follow a fun day anymore because, um, I mean, I'll play multiplayer games again. I'm gonna play the um, new Call of Duty multiplayer if you guys want to play with me on that. And I might go back to Minecraft as well, but I'm not gonna designate a certain day to it. Yeah, exactly, Morgan. That's that's very true as well. Them few seconds could feel like eternity because the pain is so horrible. Ugh, burning and drowning. No way, no thank you. Let me die in my sleep. No, Captain, no Saturday, Sunday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. <laughs> what I'll do, I'll get it tattooed on my head here. So if whenever you're wondering, just look at my forehead. But if, you, if you're ever wondering, if you're ever wondering what my schedule is, it's on my Twitter. It's on Discord. It's on Twitch underneath. Wait, did I fix underneath? Yeah. So literally, all you got to do to see this schedule is just scroll underneath and look at the Streamlabs stream schedule countdown. I don't know if that's on mobile though. It might only be on desktop. But yeah, there's tons of it for us here. Anyway, let me carry on. Yeah, maybe Tom, but still, I'd be panicking in the water, splashing about like a magic arc. Someone couldn't cut free of their regrets from the outside world, and so more people had to die. Extreme! You guys are still young. You need to place more value on your lives. What are you gonna do? Jeez, and here I thought you guys were gonna pass the torch of hope to the next generation. <laughs> let me out of here! What, what do I care about hope? I'll just throw it in the trash if you just let me out of here. Too bad! You're all the embodiment of hope, whether you like it or not. Oh, you know what we should also do? Quick flip the save. To be safe. Nice. And it's my destiny to knock you down one by one. 
It's sad, yes it is, but that reality just can't be avoided. Don't talk like you're not responsible. How long are you going to make us keep going through this? What do you want from us? That's strange. God, I'm so sick of people asking me that. Give it a rest already. Hmm. So, anyway. Kyoko, did I see you get some kind of key type object from Celeste? Hey! Hey! So, uh, what's the deal with that? <laughs> yeah, I do post a lot of food photos on Twitter. You're very right, Captain. <laughs> I eat a lot. Oh, yeah, it's... Yeah, I mean, kidney stones are meant to be incredibly painful. My dad said a few. And he sounds they're awful. But then again, I've never given birth, so I don't know. I mean, what sounds more painful? Pushing a human out of your vagina or pushing a little... Uh, a stone of calcium through your penis? It, it's tomatoes, tomatoes. It, <laughs> same thing, right? Little stone, out eight-pound baby. Yeah, I know, yeah, Tom, but I mean, if you had a giant truck driving towards your face, you, put, um, you wouldn't have a lot of time to panic, maybe. I don't know. Basically, I don't want to die in any of these ways. Wah -wah? Huh? What's the matter? So then. You want sexy food? What's sexy food to you, Captain? <laughs> like an asparagus. I'll answer your question if you answer mine. You. What did you do? What did you do to me? Who? <laughs> what? Hey. Answer me. <laughs> I love this tune as well. What did you do to my body? Ooh, how exciting! Oh man, oh jeez, oh man, oh jeez. What do you mean? What did I do? I, I have no idea. I don't know anything about it. Uh, um, what was that just now? The mastermind did something to Kyoko's body? What does that mean? Hello. Okay, things are getting kind of awkward. I think it's about time I got out of here. Well? Meanwhile, you guys can go on enjoying your school life. If you get lonely, give me a shout. Not that I'll do anything about it, of course. See ya later! Monokuma disappeared, leaving us all depressed and in despair. Although, it wasn't all despair. There was one small hope. Hey, Kyoko, Monokuma already mentioned it, but... What's that key that Celeste gave you? So... Most likely. It's the key to one of the dressing room lockers. Huh? What? Then that means... Hm. Celeste probably hid it in there. Hey! I suppose sometimes it's easiest to miss what's right beneath your nose. Well then, we better go check. Oh yeah, Morgan, you're quite right. That would be horrible. Or just imagine spikes coming down from the ceiling. Imagine if they first push into you, like, oh, oh man. Creeping myself out. Yeah, I, uh, th thank you for the, for the general insults to the whole of my nation, Captain. But yeah, you're quite right. I, I, don't, I don't know how to cook at all. But plenty of people do. <laughs> right. Indeed. Good idea. <laughs> I love the passive aggressiveness of Captain's comment right there. Oh yeah, Gemma did give me a massive look when I started talking about weighing up a kidney stone and childbirth. Yeah. Oh no, I'm sure. I'm. I reckon giving birth is way more painful. I mean. Oh. No, you say it obviously. I don't think it's obviously because kidney stones are meant to fucking kill. Yeah. So you imagine don't. Your I know. Shifting. Yeah, I know. But imagine your urethra having a fucking pebble jammed in there. Yeah, it would be disgusting. Oh. We left the courtroom and rushed to the dressing room. As we approached the dressing room, Kyoko looked back at us and said, "Hey, I'm going to go on alone from here. Everyone else, head to the dining hall. I'll check in with you later." What? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll stop. Why exactly are you going alone? So... Do you even have to ask? As she spoke, she glanced quickly at the surveillance camera. Come on! That's not what I meant. Why you? There's still the risk of a spy, you know. Then I'll go too. What? You! Please, let me go! 
Standing here arguing is just going to draw more attention to us. Goodbye. Oh, do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> the dick passage. And the dick passage doesn't stretch. A vagina will stretch to a degree to compensate for the baby. But you're, that, that stone is just forcing its way through with its rough edges and its fucking circumference. <laughs> no, it's, it is a horrible subject matter. We really shouldn't. But, look. Look. <laughs> no, I won't say it. Okay, there is a big forward slash S after this. But pregnancy can't be that bad because women do it all the time. <laughs> but that is a joke. That is the big that is the biggest joke. It's a joke I've heard before and it made me laugh, so I thought I'd repeat it. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I didn't think of that myself. I heard that second hand. I heard that second hand sexism. Yeah, I wish I could experience it, but I wouldn't be able to hack it. I wouldn't be able to make it through a whole pregnancy. I'm asking to put down. I reckon if you could like have five seconds of it, I'd make it like two seconds. Yeah, I'm eternally grateful. I wouldn't be able to hack pregnancy, not at all. Thank God I'm like not a seahorse. Because men seahorses are babies, aren't they? <laughs> No, no way, Captain. It's not cheaper to buy food in restaurants. Not at all. <laughs> we have, like, Lidl and Aldi. We can get very cheap, but decent food. It all, it all depends. What are you saying from pre-cooked? Like, do you consider, like, buying some raw chicken fillets and frying them to be fast food? Because that's cooking. Yeah, like, I don't know. I mean, yeah, we have microwave meals, but that is everywhere. I'm actually, they probably don't. Yeah, cooking's making sound from scratch. Well then. So like, say for instance, make a curry. Get some chicken fillets, cut up the chicken, pull it in the pan, pour in the Uncle Ben's sauce. Oh no, microwave meals isn't cooking, not at all. No, that's not cooking. But, would okay, what would you consider this meal? Get some chicken fillets, Cut them up, put them in the pan, pour in Uncle Ben's uh, pre-made curry sauce, heat it all up in the pan, get microwave rice, put it in the microwave, and then put them together. Is that cooking? That's cooking. <laughs> it's up to you now. I don't know what we're talking about. I need to, I need to get on with this. Yo! I'm going to go to the dining hall, okay? Huh? huh? So Makoto and Kyoko are going to go together? <laughs> Audi is decent food. 100%, man. It's great. Lidl and Aldi are fucking great food for the price. Oh, does that mean what I think it means? Okay. Good luck, Makoto. Girls like her are total pushovers when you show a little backbone. I tried to forget what Hina said. Everyone headed to the dining hall, leaving me and Kyoko there alone. Shall we go? Yeah. So then. We need to get into that locker. Kyoko took the key Celeste had given her and unlocked the locker. And as the locker swung open, we saw... We saw Noah's waifu. Yeah, so I like, go Tesco. Me and Gemma go Tesco all the time. Uh, we just go Lidl. Good morning. <laughs> oh, Morrison's. Go Morrison's my bit. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> it's safe. Thank goodness. I've never heard Kyoko sound so relieved. It was like she was speaking from the bottom of her heart. <laughs> anyway, oh, no, yeah, don't go Iceland. <laughs> I did just what Celeste asked. I didn't say a word. I stayed quietly the entire time. I've eaten stuff from Iceland before, though. But that seemed, Iceland seems super processed. So. No. Oh, and I think I might be able to open the last set of files soon. Maybe as early as tomorrow. Mm. I'm doing my best, so please wait just a while longer. <laughs> so now we can officially say the case is closed. As far as this incident is concerned, sure, but can we take a second? Since we have this opportunity, I want you to be honest with me. 
Kyoko, please tell me. What are you trying to do on your own here at the school? You. Is that why you wanted to come here with me? However. Regardless, that's not something you need to know right now. I don't need to know. That just makes me even more worried. What? Worried. <coughs> Bless me. Oh. Yeah, little is totally fine. I like little little food. Like what happened during the investigation this time? You disappeared and we didn't see you again. Without warning, without explanation. When you do that, indeed. It's only natural that they think I'm the mastermind spy, right? And you too. No! I, I believe in you. What? You believe? In me? Isn't it obvious? People believe in their friends, right? That's why I want you to tell me. And I want you to believe in me too. Oh, I, I don't know. I, that, that was just a phase I went through. I like to sneeze on stream now. It's too much effort just to go up here and mute it. Because we're friends. I understand. It's true. Then maybe I can believe in you. Just a little bit more. Then that's fine. Fine, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I've been disappearing and where I've been going. You see. <gasps> what I heard from Kyoko then was well frankly, it kinda of blew my mind. Right after I told Kyoko I believe in her, she told me a story that was well almost unbelievable. I decided I had to confirm what she'd told me with my own two eyes, so I waited for night time to come. And when it did, I went into action. We sneaking out at night? It's midnight and we're out in the hall. <laughs> really Tom, Christmas pudding in October. I like your style dude. Correct. The boys bathroom on the second floor doesn't have a surveillance camera or monitor in it. In the storage closet there, way in the back. She said it was way in the back of the boys' bathroom storage closet, but could Kyoko really be right about this? Oh man, what is it, a hole? It's gotta be a hole. It's just a normal storage closet, as far as I can tell. The secret Kyoko told me about could it really be hidden here? I can see the door. She said it was way in the back of the storage closet. But I mean, seriously. <laughs> Hose. <laughs> Without thinking, I placed my hand on the back of the storage closet. And suddenly, as if I were being yanked in. <gasps> Spinning door! Gush shunk! At the same time as I heard that sound, I fell through the wall. I had no idea what was going on. Ba bump. I had fallen through the back of the storage closet. Huh? It turned out the back wall was like a revolving door, and I'd made my way to the other side. Just like Kyoko had said. Correct. And the boys' bathroom on the second floor, there's a storage closet. And way in the back of that closet, there's a secret room. So this is the secret room. But what's in here? Where do I start? Is a stool? It's just a normal desk with normal drawers. There's a bunch of files and what looked like volume after volume of yearbooks. They're all covered in dust. Looking at everything, one file at the edge of the bookshelf caught my eye. Hope's Peak Academy Student Registry. This is the only thing in here not covered in dust. Has someone been looking at it recently? I slipped the file into my hand. But before I had a chance to take a look at it, a slip of paper fell out of the file and I turned my attention to it. What's this? You must not leave. That's kind of weird. I can understand if it said like, I can't leave, but you must not leave? What is this? My head feels funny. This strange sensation. It's like deja vu. Those words, you must not leave. I've seen them somewhere before, but I can't quite remember. What do I? What do I? No, what do I know? Yeah, I have seen them before. Where did we see the words before? What don't I know? I. I. 
<gasps> a strange sound rang out through my head. It felt like I was shaking my brain back and forth. And then, darkness. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what started it. It's all over. And with that, I opened my eyes. I didn't know how long it had been. What the hell was that? It was Rey Mysterio attacking Makoto. Ugh. Ah. Apparently something hit me and I lost consciousness. That's all I understood. The dull, throbbing pain in my head proved that much at least. Oh, the room's been emptied. Just normal desk, normal drawers. Look at the shelf. An empty bookshelf. But it's empty. Gone. It's all gone. The yearbooks, the student registry, and even the note that had fallen on the floor. It's all gone. What does this mean? But my brain refused to do any more work. The insistent pain in my head began to spread across the rest of my body. But for now, I should go back to my room. Get some rest. Oh man, so we saw the 16th shooter down for me. My body was heavy with pain. My mind heavy with thought. I dragged myself back towards my room. Somehow, I made it back to the first floor of the school. Oh. The further I walked, the more I felt things are getting blurry. I can't see in front of me. I couldn't stop myself from collapsing right there. And after that... Hmm? As if from a vast distance, I heard a sound. It was faint, but undeniable. That sound... It's coming from the gym. As I desperately hauled my shaky frame towards the gym, the sound got stronger and stronger. What's going on? It can't be nothing. Here, in the gym. I didn't make a sound as I opened the door to the gym. The sounds coming from inside, meanwhile, only intensified that much more. Before me, the rage of battle beyond anything humanly possible. No, one side's not human, that's for sure, but. Regardless, I couldn't stop staring. I forgot to move, or even breathe. Why, you? What do you think you're doing? I asked you a question. What's the meaning of this? How dare you defy me? This wasn't part of the deal! The deal. I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. Hmm. Okay. But you do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? What I'm holding hostage? <clears throat> what am I looking at? What am I hearing? <laughs> Audio automatic appears. I didn't even try and say it. <laughs> oh no, Morgan, not that word. That word came up earlier in this game, and I know what that word is. I can read it in my head. But I don't know how to say it. A masochist? A masochist? A hostage? Then could it be the mastermind spy is. Sakura. A next generation legend. Stand tall, galactic hero. Chapter 3. The end. Oh my god. Why are some in red and some in yellow? To be continued. Masochist. Oh, cool. Thank you. Masochist. Beautiful. You received the Super Robo Justice present. And that's someone who likes... Is that someone who likes pain? Or likes inflicting pain? Maybe I don't know what it means. Leon killed Sayaka. Monokuma killed Junko. 
Then Leon got executed. Then Mondo killed Chihiro. And then he got executed. Hifumi killed Taka, then Celeste killed Hifumi. Then she got executed. Yeah, would you like to refresh me? This is a pop quiz, Noah. And that brings us up to now. The next morning in the dining hall, the day after Celeste's case. So now there's only five of us here. <sighs> Maso Kissum. <laughs> okay. Only a third of the number of people we started with. Indeed. Loneliness has become commonplace. <clears throat> That's true. Still. What did I see yesterday? I don't understand. Sakura is the mastermind spy? Can that really be true? Mm -hmm. Makoto, are you okay? Uh, no, I I'm fine. I can't bring it out in front of the others. If I did that, it would just confuse everyone that much more. Okay. In that case, let's eat till we pass out. Huh? What do you mean, in that case? Because, I mean... Well, look how scary everyone looks. It's got to be because you're all fighting on empty stomachs, right? If you feel your belly, I'm sure you'll all cheer up, so let's eat. Okay. Let's fry up some fish and donuts and eat till we can't stand up. What? What? That's like a deep impact star, meteor impact, extinction level of extinction level event combination of foods. Huh? Oh, I can't pronounce hardly anything. <laughs> it's a huge floral mine. What? Those are both breakfast time stops the top sellers. <laughs> Anti disestablishmentarianism. <laughs> Anti disestablishmentarianism. Yeah, hell yeah, I love eating. Still, the till we can't stand that part is a problem. After we're done, we need to go explore. I see. That's right, since the class trial is over, new areas should have opened up. It's true. Plus, we still have alter ego. We don't have to give in to despair just yet. Oh, did I get it? Hell yeah, I'm the best of words. She's right. We have to plan ahead and think about the future. You got it! Yeah, think of happy faults, not deafy faults. You know? Thank you. Now pronounce it as fast as you can. anti disestablishmentarianism <laughs> Like, when we gotta get out of here, right? We're serious. When this is all over, I think I wanna get reborn for serious. I, I mean reborn as someone serious. Well... <laughs> hey, are you okay? That sounds like something someone who wants to die would say. Hmm. I'm totally okay. I'm not gonna die. Why? Because there aren't any gonna be. Because there aren't gonna be any more murders. Um. Well, what makes you so sure? According to the spirits. I predicted it last night. Since it revealed itself to me from the ether, there's no doubt about it. However. anti disestablishmentarianism Did you put too many terians? Yeah, but some words are different for everyone. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Piece of piss. Masochist is hard for me. How accurate is your fortune telling anyway? How about that? I can usually hit 20 or 30 percent on a good day. Hmm. That seems really low. It's not like some occult mystery. Well, yeah, it's not like it's ESP or whatever. Of course, I'm only gonna get it right sometimes. The occult is bullcrap. I told you, my fortune telling isn't like some occult thing. So, um. Fortune telling isn't a cult. You got it all wrong! Of course not. Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. Don't put it in the same category as cattle mutilation. Huh? Cattle what? So... He's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows and dissect them as part of their research. Actually... No, you're calling it an urban legend. As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it's happened to me. Hmm. It all happened one day when I went to go get a hamburger. It was a place I'd never been before. They claimed their patties were 100% all beef. Whoa, what the hell is that word? Pneumonia, lamotramoscopic, skinolophotnephysis. So I got a burger to go and headed home. But... And before long... The end is nigh! The sky was filled with mysterious blinding light. <laughs> Some crazy beam came out of nowhere and locked onto my hamburger. No, he took his burger. And as soon as the beam touched it, the burger started floating in mid-air. And then... Still floating there. 
the entire burger started coming apart. Yeah, big Rio for the burger. One part of it just vanished, while the rest fell back into my hand. Do you realize what that means? I mean, where's the cheese? Where's the young? Uh, where's the fried onions? Where's the, where's the fried mushrooms? Where's the bacon? Where's the sauce? It means the burger wasn't a hundred percent beef. It must have had some pork or something mixed in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Imagine that's a Five Guys burger. It cost me 12 quid. Something like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. You can't trick me. So I stormed back into the burger place and got up in the manager's grill. Excuse me. And I totally admitted it. It wasn't 100% beef. They totally mixed in ground pork with it. How about that? Now as you see, that is cattle mutilation. I kind of got lost halfway through. <sighs> I can't tell if you're for the occult or against it. You stink of stupidity. Don't be mean! A stink of... how dare you? <sighs> well, you do stink though. Hmm. That's fine. Huh? That's fine? Uh, um, anyway. I hope your prediction turns out to be true. <laughs> well, at the very least, I won't murder anyone. Yeah! Me either. I mean, I would never. Of course. Me either. Indeed. Nor I. It goes for me too, of course. I could never kill any of my friends. Hippopotamontrosis. Oh, what is with all these? Are these made up words? About 15 quid. Um, it's not 15 quid for a drink, but it could easily be 15 quid for a burger and a drink. I felt like those words of encouragement were helping us come together as one. Could maybe see it being a fiver for a drink? I don't know. After so much sacrifice and hardship, we'd finally become united. But, well, to be honest, I wish Bayakuya and Toka were here for this too. Forgot about them. But... Oh, really? They got me taking the piss. The phobia of long words is a long word. They're so hard to deal with, they only think about themselves. <sighs> yeah, we're better off with Alan, I say. That was enough to prove. We were united for the time being, but within that bond hid weakness and fragility. Oh no, I believe you 100%. What's this All Star Apologies, Chapter 4? No, I believe you 100%. I just think it's hilarious that someone will be so mean to call it a long word. We began our search as soon as we'd finished our breakfast in the dining hall. We had to find out what had opened up, what was waiting for us. Oh yeah, let's go up. So we've got about 10 minutes to try and cram as much in as 10 minutes as we can. So we can get into the next murder tomorrow. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. Ironic, yeah. Ironic, definitely. So... All the way to the end. I mean, I probably could have teleported to the second floor, but we'll take a little run through the school. Get a bit of motion sickness going on. That head bob. Right, so, I'm trying to think. So there's seven people left, I think. Yeah, because there's five of us at, dinner, at breakfast then, and then there's Bayakuya and uh, Genocide Jill, or Jack, who go off on their own thing. Okay, what we got here? So now we have access to the full floor of Hope's Peak Academy. Maybe this time we'll find some kind of clue. No, this time I have to find it. Oh my god, there's a fifth floor. Right. Oh, we can't go in the girls' toilets, can we? Yeah, no thank you. How about these toilets? <laughs> That's crazy. It's, it's even stranger how you could have a full-on phobia of long words. Like, what a weird, irrational fear. Not to be mean to anyone that might have it, but it doesn't make any sense to me. This is the data lab. Okay. No good, the door's locked. I guess I won't be getting in here. According to the nameplate, this is called the data centre. But what's behind the door is a total mystery. Uh, probably some data from a photo? Or a piano? Hell yeah. This is where Noah would spend most of his time, I imagine. Oh yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I, I believe there's people with them phobias, but... How? I'm not trying to say their phobias like, aren't real, or I'm not trying to take the piss out of them, but... How can you be scared of a long word? At least the spider has like eight legs and it moves all fucking horrible and it has eight eyes and stuff. 
Yeah, I believe it's true, yeah. This is the music room. It's like how some people are scared of shower heads because of the, the holes, the holes in the shower head. It's hardly even a classroom. It's more like an actual concert hall. I knew someone with that shower head phobia. <laughs> New World Order cover's coming. Hey. You know, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think? So... About the secret room in the boys' bathroom. Ah. Oh, well, um, I did find the secret room, but... As soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked? By who? Well, they came from behind, and I didn't have any time to react, so... I didn't see who it was. And when I came to, the mountains of files and documents were all gone. I'm sorry, I know how important those That's were. That's fine. It's okay. I already saw what I needed to do in there. I... Yeah, sorry, yeah, more the phobia of holes, you're right, Tom. But the shower, that shower head is a very common place where that the holes manifest, these people. It's like a everyday interaction they'd have with the phobia. And I half suspect that the mastermind might come after you. What? Because... When I discovered the room, the mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. They must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Still, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted to see how the mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the mastermind actually knew about that room. It would seem... But to attack you and steal everything in the room, that must mean there was some unknown clue in there that could reveal the mastermind's identity. Then, you knew I was going to get attacked? That doesn't matter. You can handle that kind of thing though, right? After all, you're a boy. What does she think a boy is? Fine, I understand. Oh really, you don't like that sort of stuff, do you, Morgan? Shower heads are very holy. Like the pores of a face. Let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said you must not leave? Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that. Not here. Kyoko stole a quick glance at the surveillance camera. So... I'm looking into it. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. Listen to me. Is that okay? She made it sound like she was asking, but it was clear I wouldn't have any say in the matter. So then... Now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Huh? Hm. Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding something. Am I wrong? That's... What? What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Um, well... Hey. We're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? You're right that there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have any evidence for it. Hmm. Oh shit, a choice. We do have evidence, we heard. I say we tell her. She's had our back every step of the way. She could be a massive backstabber, but no, gotta go in me gut. I haven't found any conclusive evidence yet. If I talk about it now, it could just make things that much worse. Friends shouldn't keep secrets, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt. Oh. Oh, it's not a choice. I can't tell her. What a gutter. Sorry, I can't tell you. Not yet. Correct. So, that's your answer. However. But do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I have to say, but now you're unwilling to share. I'm sorry, I really am. That's fine. Goodbye. Oh, you fucked that up. With those as her parting words, Kyoko left me standing there alone. I think I made her mad. Made me mad, dude. Is this a grand piano? It seems really old, I bet it's worth a lot of money. Of course, without someone around who can play it, it's totally useless. But we got a coin! Oh, we got 100 coins, so we have to spend them tomorrow. That's just the camera up there. Right, we've got about three minutes left. Can we find something exciting? What is this? An office? Oh, something's fallen onto the floor. There's a bunch of plants in here. This is the office. But of course there's no hint of any teachers that we'd normally be able to rely on. That's Hifumi. Huh? There's a picture on the floor. This picture. It's 
the same one, like Mondo and Jihiro and um, someone else. And Leon. What? Celeste, Hifumi and Sayaka? The smiling faces of three people who are dead now. A classroom without metal plates over the windows. It's exactly the same. Wait, what? You want about someone who can play it? Oh, is that what he said about the piano? Yeah, we'll just put Noah in this school. It's just like that picture I saw before. There's no way this isn't important somehow. They're smiling the way you'd expect any normal teenagers to smile. Just a normal group of high schoolers living a normal school life. I can't possibly believe they were able to smile like that in a world of despair like this. So does that mean this picture was taken before they ever came to Hope's Peak? Which would mean everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here? Including Sayaka? No, there's no way. Monokuma did it. It must be fake. <laughs> You're fake! Monokuma popped up out of nowhere and snatched the picture from my hand. <laughs> a forgery plot? What are you? A middle schooler? You think the moon landing was fake too? Come on. Then, you're saying this picture is real? Hey, um... If there was such a thing as the Nobel Truth Prize, I'd take first, second, and fourth place. Too bad! Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question. Is this picture real, or is it a fake? Hmm. Oh, Makoto, you're so eager to split things in half, aren't you? Hey, um... But it's no use. It's just no use. If you try to split something like that can't be split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. It's true! The picture is real. No more, no less. <laughs> Sod. Without another word, Monokuma disappeared. So the picture is real. It's really real? If that's true, if that's the case, then we will end it there. <laughs>